What's going on YouTube universe? It's me, Too Much Gig Guy here. And guess what? Yep, another piece of gear to talk about today that I may or may not use. That piece of gear is the Pocket Bed. The Pocket Bed by Silent Family. Silent Family. Yep, that's right. That's the name, Silent Family. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> I know, that's why I got it. So if you've ever been winter camping, you're always looking for a way to stay warm, comfortable, not freeze your butt off, those kinds of things, right? So I figured this would be a great option to add to the winter gear list. Once I received it, uh, I planned on taking it out as soon as possible and I was able to do so in my most recent camp a couple of weeks ago. I was able to use it uh, for a quick few minutes uh, just to test it out because unfortunately the weather wasn't uh, as cold as I wanted it to be. I think it was a low of 35 at night and 55 during the day for me. That's pretty warm so I uh, didn't use it throughout the night but I was able to test it in the morning and I also tested it of course at home. I uh, laid it out on the couch and uh, had nothing but good things to say about it so far so now I'm going to give you a couple specs real quick. Uh, you are able to go on the website just like any other human being, check it out yourself, uh, get more info, information, more details, whatever you're interested in. But I'm going to read this off here. We got uh, voltage DC 12 volt, power consumption 2 watts to 60 watts max. Uh, the mat size 50 times 150 centimeters, 19.6 by 59. And then also a weight of 2.64 pounds. And the fabric is a microfiber napping, which is something I've never heard of. Color OD green. In the box, of course, you get the heating mat, the controller, Velcro strap, and the pouch. Um, I have seen heating pads. I've seen large ones that cover almost a look like a two to three person size tent. Um, so when I saw this, I was highly interested. Honestly, I've been waiting for this to come out for a very, very long time. I initially saw it in one of their videos on YouTube. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. They make amazing content. Feel free to go to the website, Silent Family. There you can get all the details you need. But uh, let's get into this video. Any questions, any comments, you know where to leave them. Let's get into it. Here's your controller. This is uh, what allows you to change the intervals. So you have a four hour, eight hour, 12 hour timer. Then you have your rotating dial, which is a one through seven, I believe, low to high. This is your male end of the pad. And here we have a 12 volt split adapter. This will allow you to use two of the pocket beds at once using the same power source, which is a really good option. The size is for one person and I think it fits perfectly on a sleeping pad, a cot, as you can see here, and the uh, material is uh, very well selected. It's a very soft material. One side is apparently meant to be a non-slip or slip resistant type material. So it's not slipping off your sleeping pad or sleeping bag, or as you can see here, your cot. This is a really easy connection, just male, female. And as you can see there, I used a Blue Eddy EB3A 600 watt solar generator. Very small in size. Ties into the portability of the 
pocket bed itself and here you could see um, everything's plugged in press of a button you get your four hour eight hour twelve hour interval honestly I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about it but I uh, just want to be honest the control switch only went from four hours to twelve hours uh, so I was able to get in touch with silent family and <clears throat> very friendly um, great interaction within probably 30 minutes had another controller being sent to me in the mail um, it's just one of those things when you're kind of new to the the field new new product may experience different quality issues but uh, I was waiting on this pocket bed for some time to come out as I think it's just perfect for winter camping uh, as you can see I'm just giving it a little test here uh, right now seeing how quick it warms up um, I will say I use it to I guess as a combination with a sleeping bag sleeping pad uh, this way you can trap more of the heat inside but I could definitely feel um, the pad generating some heat itself so after a quick snooze um, I wanted to test out the temperature itself with a thermometer so I put uh, this one on top it was 52 degrees initially and within just I believe it was three minutes it jumped up to 63 degrees so definitely generated some heat overall definitely plan on using this in the future more often um, I do recommend and uh, any questions Feel free to leave some comments in the description below. As always, thanks for watching.